Hello, so after being in lockdown for months and months, uh, finally in England the lockdown is over, well, it's sort of over. So we can go out and about and today um, I've come to a place uh, which is the last resting place of a very important person in English history. Um, so the place is called Waltham Abbey and uh, let's go and check it out and also uh, I'll talk about who's uh, uh, buried here and why that person um, is important. A medieval bridge um, next to a, a busy modern highway I would actually would have I actually would have liked to uh, go and uh, step on that bridge uh, step on some uh, piece of history or step into uh, medieval times uh, but unfortunately uh, the gate is closed so as I mentioned earlier uh, I'm here at Waltham Abbey and uh, the person who's actually uh, buried here uh, is um, King Harold. Uh, king Harold was the last Saxon king of England. So if you don't know English history, 1066 was a very important year um, in England because uh, that that was the year uh, when the the, uh, the Anglo-Saxon rule in England came to an end because um, a conqueror called um, or an invader called um, William uh, invaded England and uh, defeated King Harold and it is said that this is his last resting place there is an interesting story behind why this became his last last resting place um, and uh, how he was defeated etc so let's go and check out the abbey um, a little bit more and uh, while exploring the abbey grounds uh, i'll take you through that story so one interesting medieval feature that is still left at uh, waltham abbey is this gatehouse uh, so as you can see uh, from what is behind me the the one in the middle the the big gate would have been used to let um, horse carts in whereas the smaller gate would have been used to let um, pedestrians in so this would have served as the as the the wall uh, to enter the abbey and also um, it is said that on each side of this this gate there would have been turrets probably uh, with guards as well and um, what is also important to note is that uh, the some of the uh, all the the walls here have been used uh, using uh, what is called Essex bricks so those are actually um, local bricks and as you can see here these walls have been um, built using those bricks and they're really they're quite huge and it's quite fascinating you know you you can actually uh, literally touch something from the from the middle ages um in the 21st century and uh, yeah this is all that is that is left of uh, of the of the gatehouse um, today so what you see behind me is waltham abbey um and apparently this place has been really important uh way before uh, king harold actually built the, built this place up um there was apparently a, a stone cross here uh, which was supposed to have miraculous um, healing powers and people used to come on pilgrimage to this place to come and worship that cross and to um, cure themselves so apparently King Harold was also suffering from paralysis and he had visited this place and worshipped that cross uh, and he was healed afterwards so what he did was when um, after he was healed he actually built this place up um, and uh, since then this obviously uh, it would have been a you know a, a, a timber church at the time but since then uh, the church has been uh, changed many times over and there was also a monastery here uh, but during King Henry VIII's time that uh, monastery was dissolved so the the structure we see here today is actually uh, a, a bit newer than King Harold's time but this is still where he was buried so how did King Harold actually die so we know that he actually died uh, in the Battle of Hastings when he actually fought uh, the, the Norman conqueror, William. Uh, but how did that happen? So um, 
this this battle happened in 1066 so if if you uh, know about english history you would know that 1066 is a very important year because that is when the anglo-saxon rule in england uh, came to an end and norman rule came into existence um, so before actually fighting william um, king harold had to fight another invader a danish invader uh, in the north of the country so his army had actually fought that battle and all the battle wearies so that was in the north of the country they literally after that they literally had to walk the whole length of the country um, to come down and meet um, William the Conqueror in Hastings which is uh, in the south of England so um, in this battle um, obviously his, his army wasn't in the best of spirits so um, in this battle um, Harold was killed uh, it is said that his body was so dismembered it couldn't even be um, identified or recognized and uh, King Harold's mother actually pleaded with uh, William um, to hand her son's body back which William refused she in fact um, offered him uh, his her son's uh, weight in gold in exchange for the body which he still refused uh, but however it is said that um, king harold's mistress was able to identify his body and uh, then they uh, brought it here um, and, and buried it actually it was uh, i think it was buried somewhere else first and then it was moved to waltham abbey and so that is how he came to be um, he came to rest here in Waltham Abbey and that is the last resting place of the last Saxon king of England so there is a it is clearly marked and you can also see a, um, a stone with with, uh, with some wordings in it I don't know whether you can make out the, the letters so I'll read it out for you so this stone marks the position of the high altar uh, behind which King Harold is said to have been buried 1066 so why does it say uh, he is said to have been buried um, that is because it's not certain whether that is the the final resting place um, there are many theories that the, the it, it is largely believed that that is the final resting place of King Harold but that has been um, brought into question or that has been questioned uh, because of certain other discoveries that have been uh, made elsewhere in the country so there are many theories as to um, what is the, the the last resting place of him and no one knows for certain but that is the the best place or that is the the, the best um, option we have uh, to say that this is the last rest, resting place of the last Saxon king of England. So I can't remember whether I mentioned this before. Uh, this abbey was actually dissolved during King Henry VIII's time. But uh, today there's a functioning church and people come here to uh, worship and also to walk around in the abbey garden, see the historical places and um, basically just to have a nice day out in the, in the sun, especially in the, in the summer. So uh, now that the the lockdown restrictions are being lifted in England hopefully I can travel a bit more and uh, post some videos more frequently so until we meet again with another video like that bye for now